to be segment two, Golden Black Live, with the living legend, Rick Mount. Uh, and we are at Stookies, which we do every now and then. It's a private meeting. You, you only have a very select group of people that you will allow into your inner circle. Is that right? Yeah. It started <laughs> out when we had about 12. Yeah. Everybody's died off. <laughs> and Larry Angle's gone now. He's been to Iowa. So. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have uh, have a have a fun. Uh, we will talk basketball today. We will solve all the world's problems. But Rick, Rick <laughs> yeah. uh, is uh, he is Purdue's all time leading scorer. I'm gonna ask, we're gonna ask him about uh, Zach Eady, who is not <laughs> is gonna at least may sur may surpass his point total. Uh, but Probably I, not. But, but no, I don't wish he bad things. No, <laughs> you don't want to do that. But talk, I, I want to tell you because you know Edie is. But I'm a competitor. You know that. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> and the in the competitive nature of Purdue basketball, you saw you guys in your in your championship year lost at Ohio State. Boilermakers lost at Ohio State uh, on Sunday. What did what are you seeing uh, in terms of this? I mean, this team's got a lot of weapons. Purdue does obviously with Edie, you've got shooters, but you got to make shots anymore in college basketball. I got to correct you on one thing. Yeah, you said my senior year we got beat Ohio. No, State. senior year you won. We won the, the championship <laughs> year. Yeah, cha yeah, okay, it okay, was your only okay. conference loss. Yeah. Okay, you got. Yeah. It. I love it when you correct. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I wasn't listening. I'm 77 <laughs> years old now. Young, still have a birthday. Yeah, that's you know, Somebody said, "What did you celebrate on your birthday?" And I said, uh, "No, I didn't celebrate. I, I all I do is sit in my easy chair and celebrate. I had another birthday, January fifth, nineteen forty-seven. That's the day. So, okay. all right, got to answer my question. So, we're in my again. <laughs> Purdue, ne Purdue needs to come back. Obviously." By the time this airs, they will have played Rutgers, but uh, against Ohio State, it is a team that has shot the ball very well from three for most of the year. They only got nine shots up against Ohio State. Yeah. Uh, what did you see in that game, and and what do you see as moving forward with this team? You mean the the Purdue Ohio State game? Yeah, I knew that could happen yeah. because it is fired to coach. Yeah, and that guy probably had him. At, I, I watched him play one night on Big Ten Channel yeah. Ohio State. They got and, talent, and the the guy called timeout Holtman, uh, yeah. you know, and uh, they were all looking in the stands. The co the yeah. assistant coaches <laughs> wasn't listening. I figured there was a problem there. Yeah. So th their minds, and they wanted to get out and run a little bit, yeah. and open it up. And I knew they're going to come out <laughs> back of a night. And Purdue was, ah, they're okay. You know, Edie got in foul trouble. They were knocking the ball out of his hand. It could be called a foul, but they didn't. Uh, uh, so they got beat. But, you know, you slip on, you slip up once in a while. And, you know, they're not going to, I don't think they're going to lose at home yeah. like we were. Yeah. It's like that last, you know. Uh, Northwestern that, almost got him, but yeah. 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 Right. yeah. yeah. And, and, but, uh, you know, they're, they're, they can be the national champions. They just got to keep focused and keep uh, an open mind. And, and you know, and, and lawyer you know, has got to hope he listens to this <laughs> because I don't want, you know, I can't. It's a talk. shooting lesson here. Yeah, that's right. But, uh, let you, you know, you got to, when you get it above that right eye. You got to lift that hand first and then follow yeah. through. You can't take that hand first and not jump and tow it because the ball flattens out. When you shoot the best is when you jump on your shot and you lift and follow through and you finish above your head. So there you go. You send me, free advice. send me a check for two hundred dollars. <laughs> Yeah. It's NIL world. They can I, do that. I like it. So, well, on. you had fun last year because they both Braden Smith yeah. and Fletcher Lawyer came down to your to the old old gym where your stomping grounds at Lebanon and yeah. shot that video. There is something to be said, because you're obviously an Indiana basketball legend, but the whole notion that these guys really care, they're, they're Indiana guys. Yeah. Uh, obviously Smith from Westfield lawyer came in late, but just that's that, that specialness of being, being an Indiana guy and, and what Braden Smith brought to this team has been oh, pretty significant. Shoot. You know, the two guys are the studs are uh, Edie and Smith. They, yeah. they give you that, Every night, yeah. that toughness. They're more consistent. I always wanted to go on nine good games and maybe have one bad game out of ten. But the bad game was like a good game. For that. Yeah. <laughs> but 
that's what they got to go for. You can't have one good game and four bad games. It, it consists of you, you know, if you want to win a national, national championship. So uh, they got it you know, that that Jones has really helped. Yes, yeah. Uh, that was a big fight. Yeah. And uh, then uh, uh, he's given them that back quickness that if you wanted to give Smith Smitty a, a little rest, yeah. he can handle that in the NCAA. Those guys are, you know, in your grill and they're strong and they're quick and they press you all over the court. And that's what both those guys, but, you know, Smitty can't, play the whole game yeah. with those guys doing that because yeah. they're uh, they'll bring another guy in and rest the, you know so uh but they 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 just keep that consistent keep that you know shooting the ball and don't uh when you catch the ball uh let it go yeah well paint lets them do that yeah now, uh, Katie, I don't know about yeah, it. Yeah. Katie, he wants you to pass the ball 10 times, what he called the Purdue goal, yeah. before you shoot. And I told him, I said, man, your kids, they got to be in hell of a lot of good shape yeah. to pass the ball 10 times and take a bad shot. What do you think, though, at Ohio State? Because they helped. Purdue has been shooting a lot of threes. They only get nine up there. Mason Gillis, who's also been excellent all year. Yeah, Gillis uh, has played well. Uh, but yeah. what, do you think that's a strategy moving ahead in terms of what it, what – teams are trying to do to defend Purdue and how they defend defend the three-point line and don't give them as many attempts. Uh, yeah. Ohio State had some success with that. And, and plus, when if you look at it, nothing against those guys. You know, they, when they, when Edie's out of there, they're playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of difference yeah. with Edie not in there. Yeah. And when he gets in foul trouble and he has to sit over there for a while, I don't know if I, I'd sit him at all. Yeah. I'd just say, go ahead and foul out. Yeah. But uh, – but that's uh, – And he has brought him in a couple times in back when he's had two fouls when oh, things yeah. were going south. Yeah. All right, now the, the question you're going to get asked because <laughs> of, of, about the record. Now, he's never going to break your scoring average record. That ain't happening. That may not happen. 32, 32 uh, yeah. five or – Well, that, 30, yeah, in your senior year. 32, years. yeah. Oh, but, that record, but yeah. but the total talk, record. Talk about it. Still, you're getting a lot of pub these days. Yeah. Robbie Hummel's your best friend about <laughs> reminding people you did it. I haven't sent my check to him yet. <laughs> but talk about just what that means because uh, you've held that record for a long time. The total years. points race. Fifty-four. Years. Who's counting? There, there you go. <laughs> no, go <ahead. laughs> no. Oh, well, 1970. Yeah, uh, it's fifty-four. Beat Don Schlund's. Uh, uh, and they tried to stall you on that. Stole, they tried to stall. But no, tell me, tell me what. The, just because Zach Eady's the kind of guy that. I, 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 if you didn't have Zach Eady, you're not number two in the country. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh man, look at these guys. Yeah, we got we got uh, the the brass of the uh, Indian high school basketball yeah. coaches. So but geez. but without Zach Eady, you know you're not number two in the country, yeah. and uh, um, uh, so they, you know, they can do it. Uh, but I, you know, I, I, I see the consistency a little bit on that. But is that, that maybe number, a little bit of the February hit that, the wall that, time, or do you think that's that's that three the... that three spot? You know, sometimes you get uh, you don't get the consistency yeah. you do at the three spot. You know, lawyers got to get more consistent on yeah. shooting, uh, or um, or the. And Gillis has been making Gillis shots. makes some shot. Yeah, you know, I mean, he he's more consistent. Yeah. In it. But uh, you know, sometimes you think, well, maybe I'll go with Gillis and bring a lawyer off the bench. So that makes me a little quicker, a little bigger, and a little stronger. And then I'll play Ren at that four, and that, that gives those two those two guys thirty minutes a game. So, but, you know, I'm not the coach. Do you not? Uh, well, I, sit, I sit there in my easy chair and drink well, my and lawyer, iced tea. And, and lawyer certainly has had his moments, but he's <laughs> he's going through a little bit of a hat, at least part hey, of the Hey, Pete, send me a check. I just, <laughs> I just give you. <laughs> he's going to he, he he be quick to do that. Um, talk about the, the, the landscape of college basketball. You watch a lot of college basketball. I don't know how much you, if you watch UConn play. You know, it's funny. Uh, or you just watch Purdue. What, 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 what I'll watch the Big Ten. Okay. But I don't watch anything else. So Illinois it kind of bore me a yeah, little bit. Illinois is good. <laughs> but I just, you know, go to the Big Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Illinois is really good. Um, Down league, though, maybe after that. I mean, Indiana hasn't been obviously where it's been at, at times. Uh, how do you? I'll tell you who's coming on. The other night, They, you know, the second half they got them was Minnesota. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're, they're playing really well. Really Chris, good. Christie's NBA. Oh yeah, he is. He's got a sweet. He's on a freshman, and so, uh, uh, you know, I, I figured Ohio State would be, uh, uh, be a problem over there, maybe less. Yeah, and then. Uh, and Purdue's got to go to Illinois this is like for the end of that, the year. That could, be be a, that could be a tough game, but I don't know if anybody else can be in unless they just fall apart. Yeah. All right, Caitlin Clark, who <laughs> uh, you taught her everything she knows, but uh, you, and you've obviously had uh, women's basketball. You yeah. followed and taught a lot of kids in the state of Indiana yeah, shooting she, and basketball. Talk in, about her. In, no, I never worked with her. I know, but talk <laughs> about what she what she has meant because she is pretty unbelievable. Um, she can flat out play, <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's more than just shooting for her though, is it not? Well, yeah, she's... you know, uh, it, it, you know, she gives it up, which I didn't. <laughs> I, I was too good to give it. Up. Yeah, there you I, go. I was too pretty. Yeah. <laughs> People always say, "Well, you didn't play no defense." I said, "I let the ugly guys play defense." <laughs> I, I was too that may be the quote of the quote of the Caitlin show. Clark. You know, when you when you're good, uh, just like myself i'm not tooting my own horn but every place we went it's we were sold out yeah you know and she, every place she went and you know nothing against women purdue women's basketball but they never they might sell out once in a while yeah but, but she brought that lower out. medicine that lower but down by the floors is three quarters full. Yeah. and she sold them out yeah. and cha-ching yeah they love her oh, yes. but but she can pass she can uh she got a lot of moxie. But how much though is attitude a part of this too? I mean, because she's got you had that. Uh, yeah. The great players do. She she thinks that uh, uh, she certainly acts like she she's better than anybody everybody else, and she plays like she's better than everybody else. But how much is that when you're when shooting is such a a fine art? Uh, where does where has attitude played into that in terms of having that edge? A lot of mental. Yeah, shooting is, and uh, the two guys that walked in. Uh, over there, Randy <laughs> Shields. He he was all mental. That's why he couldn't shoot. Oh, no. <laughs> he, 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 you get it every time he comes in. And Steve had a lot of good players, yeah. so he knows that it, it's mental to shoot. No, yeah. I'm just kidding, you, Randy. Love you, Rick. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, it's a lot of mental. Once once you get it, get the stroke. It's a lot of it's mental. Because you know, I was always brought up. Rosie always brought uh, told me. You might miss your first five, but you might hit the next, you know, you might hit the next 10. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what's your lawyer's got some of that mentality, though, too. He needs to, he needs to have a short memory. Yeah. And, uh, but like we talked about, you know, he's got to lift that ball yeah. and get some arch on it, and jump a little bit on the shot instead of towing it and taking a hand first. But uh, another thing, you know, uh, I always remember Jerry West. I saw an interview on him, and they always said that and Jerry West is pretty athletic. And I'm thinking, you know, people always say, "Well, Mount's not that athletic." Bullshit. Yeah. I oh, well, excuse me. No, it's all right. It's the internet. You're good. I, I said when you like Jerry West said, if you can jump over people when they're guarding you and get up in there, you're pretty athletic. So uh, uh, he needs to get a little bit of that, yeah. and I, I think taking it hard and, and gathering on that inside foot and making that pivot. And then once that right foot hits, he's up in the air. That's where I used to get those guys. So a lot of guys will, will gather on their inside foot, but then they got to pivot into that shot. And before they gather, they got to put that, that outside foot on the ground and then go up. That's another, what, second? Yeah. See, I didn't have, what's my right, my outside foot when I pivot? Once it hit ball toe, yeah. I was up in the air. And see, I used to get those guys on that. Quickness is, is absolutely essential, quick, quick, and, quick, and you got to be quick all the way through. But, you know, uh, counting uh, Caitlin Clark, you know, <clears throat> I'm thinking, here's the other thing I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm sitting home, I'm old man, and I'm looking at it. I'm thinking, uh, you know, when I was a young kid coming out of college, I didn't have no business mind, you know. Yeah and uh kind of naive and i'm thinking caitlin clark edie yeah 
he's making three million dollars a year or whatever he is yeah on his clothing yeah. and then the il yeah he's yeah, getting I two am. million right something like <laughs> okay. that i don't know i'm not his agent that's three million uh caitlin clark's probably making about three million yeah. for a woman that's pretty good yeah now why would i come back for my fifth year come on edie think business-wise <laughs> Pocket three million. You ain't gonna make three million in the NBA. No, 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 I don't say it. Do you guys? <laughs> no. They make it, but is Caitlin Clark gonna make about 140,000? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why don't I come back for one more year and pocket three million a piece, put it in the bank, and then come out? Are you as a are you getting to a percentage of that? Off? Remember that, Edie. <laughs> Caitlin Clark, if you're watching. Yeah. Come back, and yeah. then Edie can set the record uh, where nobody can get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the score record, and she can set the score record where nobody. Oh, ain't gonna get hers either. But, but I'm, I'm looking, and it, this is really funny. She's talking. They're talking. Well, she just is all-time women's leading scorer. Now she's going after Pete Maravich. Yeah. <laughs> Pete Maravich did that in three years. Yeah, I just, like just think. Just think, if you give Pete Maravich and I 70 more games, I'm over 5,000 with a three-point yeah. line. But he's probably at 6,000. Yeah. He averaged, yeah. averaged in the 40s. <laughs> yeah. he got yeah. All right. On that note, uh, we've had a lot of advice today. So that's a good thing. When Rick does that, we're, we're having, it's free, though, right? Nobody wants to hear me about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do. Knows. Yeah, that's they... why they pay paint uh, $6 million. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will be back. Hey, Paige, send me a check. Will you? Yeah, I'm gonna. I, we're gonna make sure he, because that's gonna be the first thing he's gonna do on Friday afternoon is watch what? this. Oh, really? <laughs> hey, hey Paige. Okay. All right, we will be back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Dave Shellhouse, a guy you know well, and a guy and, and a great score in his own right, is gonna join us well as well, and we'll have some fun with that. Rick Mount, thanks so much for your time. We're gonna have lunch here with with uh, our 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 bunch of legends big, over there yeah big our, our group of five so to speak this group of back. five all right have a great uh great we're gonna have a good lunch and we'll yeah, be back in a couple lunch. minutes on golden black there you go